Welcome to today's lesson on identifying and classifying triangles. In this lesson, we will discuss the basics of a triangle and their characteristics and how we describe them and then utilize them to solve problems. By definition, a figure with three sides and three angles could be classified as a triangle. We can draw a simple triangle by drawing three dots and connecting those three dots to give us a triangle. Three sides, three angles. Many times in our world, we see triangles. Imagine having a wall or a building and putting a ladder up against that wall or building. How that ladder stands up against that wall can dictate what we do and what we're able to make, and the shape that's created is a triangle. Before we go into more applications of triangles, let's think about naming them. Some of the basics of how we describe the triangles that might be in front of us on paper. So of course, a triangle with three points has letters for each of those points. In this case, point A, point B, and point C. And those points are angles. Well, I can call this triangle, triangle ABC by incorporating all its points or all its angles. I can then name the angles separately, angle A, angle B, and angle C. And name the sides separately as segments, AB, BC, and AC. Using all six of these separate angles and segments, I'm able to describe triangles. Then I can talk about classifying these triangles by describing the lengths of those sides. First triangle that I'm drawing is a scalene triangle, a triangle with three different sides of three different measures. Then I talk about an isosceles triangle, a triangle with two sides that are equal. In this case, these two sides are six and six, and one side that is not. And lastly, I talk about the equilateral triangle a triangle where all three sides and then all three angles are all equal. Now, while there are many important rules and properties regarding the sides of triangles, it's also imperative that we talk about the three angles in a triangle. So let's try this exercise. Draw a triangle and number each of your angles with a one, a two, and a three, and draw some lines around each one of those angles. And then go ahead and proceed to take some scissors and cut out your angles and kind of rearrange them as you're about to see me draw here. We put angle one there, we slide angle two around, we can kind of fit it in right here next to the one. And then lastly, I can take this angle three and slide it next to the other angles as such. And you see that one, two, and three should fit together into a perfect line. Angles one, two, and three will end up being all on the same line and then we'll all end up equaling to 180 degrees. This is called the triangle sum theorem because all three angles in every single triangle add up to 180. I can take the angles and also classify triangles as such. I could have a right triangle that is a triangle that has one right angle and with that one right angle it becomes a right triangle. I could have an acute triangle where all three of the angles are acute which means they are all less than 90. And I can have an obtuse triangle, a triangle where one of my angles is obtuse more than 90, and the other two, of course, have to be acute from there. Considering all these characteristics of the angles and the sides, let's go ahead and practice naming some of these triangles. So let's say that I start off with a triangle like this. It's got a right angle up top, two sides that are six. What would I call this? Well, since two of the sides are equal, it's isosceles. And with a right angle, it's an isosceles right triangle. Let's draw another triangle. One big obtuse angle. Let's give the sides some length, six, nine, and four. They're all different, so it's gonna be scalene. And with one big obtuse angle, it'll be a scalene obtuse triangle. With my third triangle, let's go ahead and draw all the sides equal. Let's make them all eight. And because all the angles are equal to, they all must be acute. So we have an equilateral acute triangle. When we think about the connection that triangles have, it's important to consider that triangles are the basis for entire other branches of math, and that the patterns within triangles help define our physical world. 